My name is John Kurakawa, and today we're going to be talking about the bane of many a clarinetist and woodwind doubler, the throat tones on the clarinet. The reason why the throat tones can be problematic is because they sit in the throat of the instrument where the tube is very, very, very short. This means that they can lack focus, depth, and resonance. Depending on a number of factors, they may not match the majestic richness of the chalumeau register, or the beautiful singing purity of the clarion register. The throat tones have to be a bridge between these two very different registers. So before we begin, I'm going to make a few assumptions. One, that your embouchure, air support, and voicing are all in good order, and that you have a mouthpiece and reed setup that is responsive. Without all of these, getting a good sound in the throat register can be near impossible. Side note, if you'd like to see a video on what I look for in a good clarinet mouthpiece, drop a comment below. Mouthpieces are my favorite subject. We're going to start by checking a tuner and noting the overtones. We know that an abundance of overtones leads to more center and core and projection in the tone. Let's start with open G. Not bad, but it's a little bit fuzzy and just a hair sharp. We can use this sharpness to our advantage, though. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a covered fingering. So to this open G, I'm going to add the second finger in the right hand, the third finger in the right hand, plus the FC pinky. The FC pinky is pretty important. I'll play first with and then without the covered fingering so you can see and hear the difference. We can see and hear a difference, particularly in the third partial. We get not only more center, but more volume. The reason why using covered fingerings works is because by adding fingers in the right hand, we make the tube longer, which forces the air and vibrations to travel further down the clarinet. Let's keep on going. For G sharp, I'm going to add the third finger in the left hand and the first finger in the right hand. As before, I'll play the G sharp without and then with the covered fingering so you can see and hear the difference. For A, to the regular A fingering, I'm going to add the second finger in my left hand, the third finger in my left hand, the second finger in my right hand, and the third finger of my right hand plus the AC pinky. Now for the worst note on the clarinet, throat B flat. The reason why throat B flat sounds so terrible is because we're asking the register key to serve two functions. One, as a vent or register key for the clarion register, and two, as a vent for B flat. So I'll give you three options. Option one, to the regular B flat fingering, add the third finger in the left hand, the third finger in the right hand, and the FC pinky. Option two, to the regular B flat fingering, add two three in the left hand and two three in the right hand. No pinkies. The third option is to use another key. The trill fingering for A to B flat is to use the second trill key from the top. This sounds much clearer due to the larger size of the tone hole underneath the trill key. However, it can often sound just a little bit bright. So what I do is I simply finger the covered A, 2, 3, 2, 3, and the FC, and add the trill key. It's amazing how much of an improvement you can make on your throat tones when you use covered fingerings. Focus, depth, resonance, and pitch are all enhanced. I recommend practicing these with Larry Guy's excellent book, Intonation Training for Clarinetists. Learning to implement these fingerings at a slow tempo really, really, really helps. Finally, a book I recommend that every clarinetist have in their library is the excellent Clarinet Fingerings by Tom Ridenour. Not only is this book a wealth of information on covered fingerings for the throat tones, but for the altissimo as well. For instance, there's over 19 fingerings for high G.
Not all of these fingerings may work for you, but I'd venture a guess that a lot of them will and might spur on your own creativity and ingenuity at coming up with your own fingerings. So that brings us to the end of the video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like below and consider subscribing to the channel as it really helps get the word out. Both are free. Keep hammering away at it, and I'll see you next week. Take care.